This morning we have a speaker and uh, we finished the course already in the Crimes and Mission Academy. Uh, we have this, uh, this lesson about preaching and uh, you know we have been she has been in the church for a long time and today once again we, we will be able to receive the word of the Lord through her. Amen. Yeah. So you know the value of the message that we'll receive depends on how you value that person. Amen. 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 So we honor God, but we also give value to people. So today, let us give value to our speaker, our very uh, own sister. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Jones. So I used to preach without this. Okay, so that I can move freely. So, so that I can see you. I want to see everyone. So let's rise for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for today, O God. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to the and sound, O Lord. Lord, thank you, O God, for today, O God, that uh, we are safe, O God, and we are healthy, O God, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Lord, Lord thank you for your healing power, O God, for your protection, O Lord, for the whole week, O God. Lord, thank you so much, O God. Use me, O God, and hide me and look behind your cross, O God, so that your glory only be seen by your people. Amen. Lord, I pray that you bless your word, O God. I pray that the word that will come from my mouth, O God, comes from you. Amen. Only from you, O God. Because you are worthy. So our praises, Amen. our adoration, our worship. So I remember the last time that I preached. So this is the first time I preached in this place. So that was uh, December 7, 2018. So it always with the 7. Because last time, 2016, that was uh, October 7. So 7 is God's number. Today and this month is 7. Okay, July 7, 26. Today is 26, tomorrow is 27. So it's near. It's 7 is still July. So thank you so much for, for the presence of everyone, especially the presence of the Lord. So I'm so blessed with the praise and worship. I was crying. You see that? I was crying when, I was, uh, when uh, we are worshiping God. Praising God because He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Praise the Lord. He alone. He alone. We're not praising anyone here. Amen. 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 We are not praising anybody here. Even Pastor Jones, even, even the Titan, or all pastors, leaders. No. Last night, we had a prayer meeting and I was amazed and I was so blessed for the word, for the message that God had given to us last night. It reminds me, it refreshed me and especially uh, it gives reminders to us, to all of us. It's all about syndrome. You know, syndrome is a sickness. So that's why in the morning, because I have in mind, I ask God, what will be the topic that I will be teaching today? And I have in mind, because I ask God, that's not, it was not. After I heard last night, Pastor Jules uh, shared the symptom that we need to, to, to avoid, to destroy the church. Those are uh, seven symptoms. I will not uh, 
uh, enumerate all, but it's all about syndrome. Syndrome is a sickness. Okay. So I changed my mind. I don't know why. Early morning at dawn, 4 a.m. I had this uh, impression from God. Because, you know, that's, uh, Pastor Daniel knows that I'm not preparing for my preaching. <laughs> but, you know, I am depending on God because He's able to speak for me. I'm not speaking by my own minds, by my own sense. Because I know God is, is speaking for me. Amen? Amen. So today, I am talking about the storm. Storm is uh, it's a metaphor. Metaphor is a figure of speech that describes a word or phrase or an action. But actually, if if you if you uh, let's say be still in the midst of storm. Storm literally when we see storm. It is a bad weather with uh, heavy rains, strong winds, with thunders and lightning, right? That is the literal meaning of a storm. But when we say meta, metaphor, it's a figure of speech, we are referring storm for hardships, for struggles, for your pains, broken relationship, disunity. Divisions, especially in the church. Those are the storms that we need to be aware of. Amen? Amen. So that is the impression that God has given to me. So somebody told me oh, that is impromptu, meaning I didn't write anything for this. God is giving me impression for this that you have to to speak for this because this is my message. Amen. 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 So storms, they are unpredictable. We don't know when it comes. And we cannot control. We cannot control. What we control, we can control is to how to react or how to respond when storm comes. Amen? Amen? Nobody can protect, nobody can control the storm. Only God. Amen. Okay? That is a supernatural act of God. Yes. Supreme to the supreme or total controller of our circumstances. One storm. So, be still in the midst of storm where we can find this in Mark 4, 35 and 21 to 41. So we'll take a first uh, Mark 35 to 37. So it says, at the same day with the, when the evening that one was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when he had sent away the multitude, he took him even as he was in the ship or in the boat. In other translation. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Verse 38 to 39. And he was in the hinder part of the ship. The other translation is stern. Stern. Asleep on a pillow. Another translation is cushion. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, there is now not that we perish. Some other translations say are using teacher. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Verse 40 to 41. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? It's a powerful Amen. message to all of us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, 
I know, and God knows the storms in your life. Amen? Amen. Are you facing storms in your life, life right now? Amen. Everyone, everyone does. Even me, I'm preaching to myself. Storms, hardships, struggles, problems. Now, we go back to the uh, uh, to the, the first verse is thirty-five. So that day, when evening came, he said, he said to his disciple, "Let us go to the other side, because I will give you a short information, geographical picture of the setting." Where it was happened, the story was happened where in the Sea of Galilee or the Lake of Galilee. So in Hebrews, um, this is what we call Yam Gilaret. Yam Y A M K I O N E R E T R. There is one um, there with a H in the left. Okay, so that is Hebrews name. But that one is a lake, Lake of Galilee in Israel. Now, the, that lake is the lowest uh, fresh water lake with uh, 696 feet below sea level. You see, in a geographical uh, information, that place was always visited, visited by uh, storms. Okay? Always visited by the storms. And uh, I myself, I want to go there to visit the place. Where? Why? Because this is an attraction to the Christian pilgrims to visit the places where Jesus performed miracles like walking on the water, calming the storm, and what else? So those are um, the miracles happening in that place, feeding the multitude in that place. So it gives attraction to the Christian pilgrims to visit that place. Okay, so that is the, the, the short information about the setting where it happened. Now, on the first set of Mark 4 verse, uh, chapter 4 verse 35, right? Jesus, after after uh, teaching the multitude the crowd and it was evening and as a man Jesus is a 100 man and 100 God 100 percent God after the holy exhausted teaching the multitude teaching the crowd he invited his disciples to get into the boat with him to go over to that person. Okay? Now, Jesus now is inviting us to get into the boat with him. Amen. Amen? Amen. The boat represents or symbolizes the church. Amen. Amen. So, are you ready? Are you willing? To get into the boat with Jesus. Amen. You see a boat. And who is the boat captain? Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Are you willing to get into the boat without thinking? Without any hesitation? Because there are some. I don't want to be involved in ministries. Why? Because I have. Some alibis and excuses. I am busy. I don't have time. I'm tired. Those are alibis. You refuse the invitation. 
mission of Jesus Christ to serve Him. Amen? Amen. This is the invitation when we say, let us. This invitation is free. If somebody invites you to go somewhere to eat dinner and outside, expect that it's free of charge. Amen. 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 Free. If you invite, Papa, if you invite me to eat outside, be sure you have money. <laughs> yes. It's free. Even my transportation is free. It is, it is expected. Do not invite if you don't have money. <laughs> Jesus said, let us go to the other side. What transportation? He, he, he was using the boat, the church. So meaning, we go, all of us, we get into the boat with him. Do not go to the other boat there. Okay? So that is unity. Amen. Do not go, because maybe the boat captain there is, we don't know. Surely this boat. The boat captain is Jesus. Amen. So we go all together. Surely you will reach. You will get into the place where Jesus wants you to be, to go. Amen. Amen. And find that destination. But notice church. Verse 36. Mark 4 verse uh, chapter 4 verse 36. Leaving the crowd behind. They took him alone. Just as he was in the boat. There were also boats, other boats with him. Meron pa ng boats iba. Okay? But those boats, they are following Jesus also. Hindi pumunta sa ibang lugar. Very clear. Next, verse 37. A furious one is the other translation. And there arose a great storm of wind. Oh, come on. What happened? And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Along the way with Jesus, when they were in the course of their journey, in their voyage, in their trip, going to the other side with Jesus, what happened along the way? There was a great storm. In other translation, it says, a, 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 a furious squall came up, and the waves, what happened? Broke over the boat. So when we say it broke over the boat, the, 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 the waves or the storms or waves where? Over. If this is the boat, it's over. It says there in uh, the history of that place, it says five feet to ten feet high. And waves. So it's very, very high. Over the boat. So one more, uh, I want to, 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 to I, I will grab this opportunity to, to, to say something. In grammar, when we see, when we say, boat, in the boat, on the boat, in the car. When we say, we cannot say on the car. It's in because you cannot move. We cannot, we cannot walk. But when we say, on the bus, it's not in the bus. Because any transportations of vehicles, that you can move freely like this, you use all, not in. Mm -hmm. All the airplane, not in the airplane. Because you can move freely, you can walk. But in the car, it's in the car because you can walk. You can sit. That's, that's, that, that, that's uh, common mistakes. Okay? Now, over the boat, you see the storms over the boat, the waves. And what happened in 27? 
and the boat, and the, you see the, the waves crashing over the boat. In 38, where is Jesus during the storm? Jesus was in the stern. It's there, and he was in the inner part of the ship. It's in the stern. It's part of the uh, boat that you can sleep there with pillow, cushion. You see, if you use cushion or pillow, you can sleep comfortably. You see, Jesus, in the midst of storm, he was sleeping. He was asleep. Are you sure? During the journey, the voyage, he was asleep in the midst of the storm. And what happened? The disciples were terrified. And they awakened Jesus. But very, very good. In other places it says, Master, there is no doubt that we perish. Or, teacher, don't you care? If we draw, that is very rude. Rude, rude awakening. Very rude. Teacher, don't you care if we draw?
Jesus is with you. And you are still doubting. Why? Ano pa bang gusto nyo? You are with Jesus. Faith is being tested. Amen? Amen. 41. 41, Mark 4, verse 41. They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Other translation, and they began exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea, the sea obey him? Who is this? Who is this? What's the name? I am your God. 
Amen? Amen. Amen. Still, peace. Because God will give you inner peace. And God also is the joy giver, the only joy giver. And the giver of inner peace. Amen. 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 Says, I will be exalted among the heaven. I will be exalted in the earth. His name is worthy to be praised. Amen. 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 You exalt people? No. Only God. Amen. Do not exalt people. Because we are not praising or worshiping anybody. Amen. Amen. We have Psalms 44, verse 24. Wherefore hide is thou thy face, and forget is our affection and oppression. See that? When you face storms in your life, cry out to the Lord. Pray. Connect with Him through prayers, through His words. Amen? Amen? Connect. Arise for our help and believe us for the mercy seat. Other translation. Rise up. Rescue us. Help us for your unfailing love. Amen. Amen? Amen. So how to get Yes, I'm aware of 10 minutes now. <laughs> I just started now. Anyway. <laughs> I have a lot of things to say before this time. Now, I have uh, how many, how many, um, there we have the, how to get to our final destination. Now, I will give you, it's a shortcut anyway. So, there are some of us that we are focusing on the final destination. Final destination. Okay? God is inviting us to go into. So we have to choose. We will go with Him or we just stay there where we are. This is an invitation. It's, it's optional. Anyway, let us go. He didn't say, we must go. No. Let us go. So it's an invitation. God is giving us freedom to, 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 it's either to go with Him, to get into the world with Him. Right? So it's, it's your choice. So, it's here. How to get to our final destination? We must be willing to be taught. Are you willing to be taught? Amen. Amen. We have, we must have a teachable heart. Amen? Amen. If we have a teachable heart, everything will go smooth. Humanity, humanity, the humility. If you are humble, you have this. You have a teaching. Next, we must have ears to hear and eyes to see. You see, the disciples. First, we have to hear the voice of God. Here, we have, that's why these ears are designed. To hear, to listen first. We have eyes to see. But the disciples, they are blind. They were blind. They were deaf. We must have ears to hear and eyes to see. Number three, we must have a believing heart. After we hear the word, how you accept, how you receive the word, we must have a believing heart. Trust. And believe that is faith. Amen? Amen. So these are the three. We must be willing to be taught. We must have ears to hear and ears to eyes to see. We must have a believing heart. And I have uh, some principles. Sometimes you know that that's, uh, in this uh, story, this passage, the disciples, most of the disciples, we're fishermen, right? And they used to fish, they used to 
be in that place. Why the storm, when the storm come, when the storms come, they were terrified. They used to, 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 to be in that place. They, are, they were good swimmers. Why? Sometimes our greatest strength becomes our greatest weakness. Because without Him, without Jesus, I'm a good swimmer. Notice he's a good swimmer too. But we cannot walk on the water. We can walk in the water. You see the difference? I can walk in the water, in, inside. But I cannot walk on the surface of the water. Only Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see the difference? As a swimmer, I can walk in the water. Of course, I can walk like this, in the water. But I cannot walk on the surface of the water. For me, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see the supernatural act of God. Now, next, number two, Jesus is not blown away by the storm. You see, in the course of their voyage, of their journey, going to the other side, they met storms. But Jesus was sleeping, and the disciples walked him, and immediately he rebuked. The wind. So meaning Jesus is not blown away by the storm. If you are with Jesus, you are not easily blown by the storm. Amen. 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 So that's very good. Jesus doesn't want to you to have fear, but to have faith in him. We have here and there in Philippians. Philippians 4, or 4, from verse 6 to 7, it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In our Amen. translation, do not fear. Do not fear, but pray, uh, pray, do not pray for anything, but pray for everything. Amen. You see the difference? Do not pray for anything, but pray for everything instead, everything, until God, all your, your needs, all your needs, everything. All your needs, all your struggles. But don't forget to give thanks to Him. Amen. Amen. It says, with thanksgiving, so prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made unto God. We ask boldly to the Lord everything, anything. No need Wi Fi, no need text messages. Go directly to God. Amen. Amen. Unlimited, even your prayer, even your silent prayer. God hears that. Amen. Amen. Amen Lord. Next. So what Jesus promised, he fulfills. Because God is what? Anong kinanta natin kanina yung last? Waymaker? He is a waymaker. He is a miracle worker. And he is a promise keeper. Amen. Jesus said he fulfills what he promised. That's the promise of God. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. One thing more, oh, I, I want to, to remind you again, once again, church, we will go together, all of us, in one boat. Amen. Jesus. Be sure that uh, the boat captain is Jesus. Amen. So that if something will happen, that the, the, the voyage, the trip, or or um, the journey maybe will be rough in the course of your journey. Maybe that the, the journey will be rough, will be hard or tough. But with Jesus in the boat. 
as the captain of the boat, nothing to be feared of. Amen. 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 Jesus, or God, weeps disunity, division. Double-minded person is, person is dangerous. Double-minded person is dangerous. We'll be, and we will be aware of that. And undivided or divided loyalty is a certain person. Amen. Amen. Yes. Divided loyalty is like you are building your house on the sun. If heavy rains and storms come, what happens? It will sweep away. It will blow away. Because you, your foundation is not God. Your foundation is not Jesus. Your foundation is only temporary and that is a sun. Build your house on the rock. And the rock is Jesus. This church is founded on the rock. That's why we are unified with one accord. Amen. Amen. God weeps, you know, weeps. Weeps in Tagalog, I don't know. Help me. Tumangis. If we have divisions in the church, division, disunity, God hates that. Amen? Amen? It's very clear. So we have to have one mind, one destination, find out the destination. And where is it that destination? Find out the destination. Amen. If you go into the boat with Jesus. You surely, you are surely get there. The final destination. Even how, how rough is the road, how tough, how difficult. Sometimes we jump to the final destination without passing through the process. Amen? We need to pass through the process before reaching your destination. You have to, you must pass through the process. Do not jump to the final destination. We must be aware of something that happened along the way. And we must be ready because Jesus is with you, with your sinking boat. Amen? Amen. Even the boat is sinking. Just go up on the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Because Jesus, the Lord, is the death to hear your prayers, Amen. to hear your supplication, Amen. to hear your prayers. Amen. He's always there for us. Amen. Amen? Amen? So let us go together in one boat. And our captain, boat captain, is Jesus. Amen. Amen. I would like to, to request everyone to be stand. Close your eyes, please, and bow down your heads. Lord, today, oh Lord, today is the day that you have made for us. Church, close your eyes and meditate the word of God. Whatever storms you are facing right now, do not fear, do not be afraid, because Jesus is with you. He rebuked the storms in your life right now. Financial storms.
given us with all good. Why you 